Hey there, Internet Keeve here, and this is Heidi. She is the star of this channel and the focus of this video when it comes to sponsorships because she's why we get them. Her Instagram page, Heidi underscore the underscore 335. If you're not followed, please follow. We're trying to hit that 10K by the end of the year. That's been our goal for the whole year, and we are really close. I think we're about 9,600 or so, so uh, please help us out there. We couldn't film this in the sun where she her colors pop. You can see a little bit of it poking through. Uh, let's skip to a cinematic right now. As you see, she really uh, pops in the sun, but we can't record this time of year because the sun is at such an angle that it's just in your face the whole time. You really can't film a one-on-one -on -one like this. So when it comes to sponsorships, there's so many different kinds. Uh, there is, you're just an influencer. There are partnerships, there are sponsorships, and really all of them kind of mold into the sponsorship ring. That is a generalized term for this type of uh, influencing. Most businesses have now found that micro-influencing is the way of the future. Um, with the TV kind of going away, I mean, people still watch it, but nobody really gets the commercials. Instead of having these huge budgets for commercials to put on a sporting event or whatever, and maybe get less than a 1% conversion, they can spend that same amount of money across a hundred or even a thousand influencers and really get to a target audience um, because people like to see the builds as they progress, uh, what they like, what they don't like, and they get to pick and choose. And by us being able to show them what it's like, uh, they can skip that uh, experimental phase that might cost them a little extra money. You have several different types of influence. You got your discount for a single social media post. You got your steep discount in exchange for several posts. You have your full sponsorships. Uh, most companies don't have the money to give a full sponsorship and that's a lot of responsibility to hand somebody to make sure that you get your value back because that's what it's all about. You giving them value, them giving you value in exchange. Uh, it's just a way for them to be able to, like I said before, advertise to their niche. And I know what you're gonna say, 9,000 followers is a lot easier to get sponsorships than if I, me at 1,000 or me at 500. And that's very true. Uh, obviously the bigger you get, the more influence you have, the more value you can bring. But that doesn't mean that you can't get sponsors at 1,000. Eurofet has sponsored Heidi since about 1,000 uh, followers. Uh, it's more like a family now than it is a sponsorship, and those are the kind of relationships that I like to build. We also don't want to do things like what you would call a sellout, where you're just pushing a product just to push a product. That hurts your engagement. People unfollow. They don't like that. You need to be passionate about the product that you have. That will give you more value because the passion is there. The creativity and the content is better that way. And I would never advertise or push a product that I would not use myself or buy myself. Now, obviously some of them I can't afford if I didn't have the sponsorship. So that's why I reached out, but they are products that I've wanted. And then uh, a few have come my way, but most of them I have reached out to get them. So we got over all the general different kinds of influence. Let's go over each one specifically. So your first one, normally when you're small, this is the, what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a discount in exchange for an influence post. So your discount should normally be definitely more than a discount code that's being handed out free through some advertisement or through another influencer. You should definitely be negotiating for more than that. They're gonna reach out with this. Uh, you do have a uh, way to negotiate. Um, say you want a, a carbon fiber lip when you first start your build, right? Or you want a carbon fiber mirror cap or something like that when you first start your build. You already have a product or a brand that you have in mind. Um, you just reach out to them, DM them, uh, go to the website. A lot of them have applications for sponsorships, so you can check that out as well. But DM them, say, hey, I have a passion for this product. I think it would look great on my car. I really think that with my posts and the engagement that I have, I definitely can provide you value. Um, whether it's 100 uh, views, 100 likes on a, 100 views on a video, 100 likes on a post, whatever it is, at your size, you're providing value. There are people that you could convert to them, one to 10%. Um, if you can convert uh, somebody for them, that brings them value and now you have a relationship. The next part, you can negotiate for a better percentage, maybe even a full sponsorship. So we have our next level, which is the steep discount, 30 to 50% off of the product in exchange for a contracted sponsorship 
or uh, multiple sp uh, social media posts. A lot of companies have contracted uh, sponsorships. Uh, you're not allowed to promote another product that's in the same uh, competition with them. There may be clauses in there that you have to do so many posts per month, so many stories, this kind of stuff. You need to make sure that the services that you're providing is worth the product that you're getting back. Unless you really want it and you need a stepping stone, right? You need that stepping stone to get in. Uh, having a sponsor a big name sponsor or anybody to attach to your profile or attach to a post definitely helps you too because that name is well known. That name can help you out. They could repost you, repost your stories about them and that gets you exposure. So there is your value in return and also providing them value with your influence. Now, I have several that are like that. I have some 50% off, some 35% off. Some of them are very expensive uh, parts on the car. And that 35 to 50% off is huge, especially if you get another build, you start another build, you can build your relationship with even more of a discount. But also, uh, you know, if you move on to something else, you'll be able to sell that product for a value higher than you paid for it. And you would have provided them with value. You need to make sure that you provide them with value because that's what builds relationships. Other companies see these posts when they're searching hashtags. They have social media departments that scope the internet looking for influencers to help with their product. And you showing great value to one company could in return get you a communication from another company. I can definitely tell you I'm proof of that. All right, now we're up at the top of tier full sponsorship. This normally definitely includes a contract. Obviously some companies are, are uh, very lenient and they don't have a contract, but that usually you get that full sponsorship because of a long standing relationship that you built even before you were sponsored by them or even had a discount with them before it became a full sponsorship. I have a couple of full sponsorships on the car, uh, very expensive products, uh, but products that I've loved either I couldn't afford to get unless I was able to get the sponsorship or something I had been using the whole time and was definitely helping them influence long before I ever got anything in return. And that's where I was talking about building this relationship. So let's take a deep dive a little bit more into the relationship, something that you could build into a business partnership that's mutual beneficial for you and the company. So first things first, Eurofed. Supporter of the car since day one, um, I broke an axle, actually right on this road, right down the road from here. I'm on this abandoned road out in the middle of nowhere that um, it just leans, it leads to really nice, nice uh, wind coverage and everything. But um, I broke an axle. I sent it off to BMW of Gwinnett Place. Uh, their service area tech came in, saw all the modifications and he immediately denied and black flagged my car. So at that point, I have no warranty. So I heard about Eurofed, they were just down the road, sent my car over there and, and that was it. I met Walker there, uh, Walker Z-Way on Instagram, it'll be right here below. He really showed me how much he cared about BMWs and treated me so well. And along the way I met uh, Darko, the owner, one of the owners, Mickey and um, Sancho in, in uh, the Charlotte area, uh, these great people and it just, they just made me feel really good. And I had spent some money there before with the axle and we, we, we hurt the diff too. So we switched out and got an LSD diff on this car. Uh, if you wanna know about this car in general, I'll be releasing another video soon called Heidi's Story. It'll be from the beginning to the end of the entire build because she's pretty much done. And pretty soon uh, she will be on a Thick Whip video as well. I made a few uh, social media posts on my Instagram saying I'm, I'm taking Heidi to the best of the best. And uh, I, I mean that. And um, I made a few other posts and they saw that influence. I uh, went to a few meets that they held, uh, advertised those before they, before they got there. Uh, people have asked me, hey, where do you get your car serviced? Uh, and I tell them where to go and I'll say, say Heidi sent you. And they, they understood that value. And so when it comes to the point to fix a wheel hop issue that I had with the broken axles, we, uh, Walker was like, hey, let's just do a coilover suspension. The car would look better lower for your project anyway. Uh, it was something I was gonna do that on the road, but really didn't have the money for it. So I reached out uh, to Eurofed's Instagram and said, hey, would you guys be willing to sponsor the car? Um, help me with the labor, help me with the parts. Uh, obviously not a full thing. Uh, I paid the majority of it, but the discounts really helped. And those discounts have lived all the way through our relationship. Like I said, I'm not gonna give those out. Ever since this, every chance that I've had 
to push them as a company I've done without being spammy. That's the hardest part about social media, especially when you have so many different companies involved, is not being spammy in your face, uh, in your, your followers' face. Sometimes on stories, it's hard not to do that because the selective, you know, people only see so much. They may only ever see, you know, the ones that you're advertising somebody. They may not see that picture or whatever because that's just the way stories are. The reach is just all over the place. So speaking of that, through the Eurofed relationship, I built a relationship with Liquid Molly. So Eurofed had me at a caffeine and octane. I met the Liquid Molly guys, made a post, said, hey, here's Heidi at the booth with Liquid Molly and Eurofed. And they saw that, liked it, uh, reposted it. So over time, any chance that I had that I was going to an event that I knew Liquid Molly was gonna be there, I hit up, hey, do you have a spot? I can park Heidi there, Heidi there and help you uh, with your booth. And they gladly accepted. I went all the way to BMW Invasion in Melbourne, Florida. I've been to Cafe and Octane many times at the Liquid Molly booth. And I don't just walk around. I stay near the Liquid Molly booth and I help them. I've developed a relationship with Eric, who's the area person for Georgia and Alabama for Liquid Molly and built a great relationship with him as well. And just help him out at the tent. Just shoot the crap. Now he's a friend. Um, like the Liquid Molly is a great company. We were already using them. And that relationship has been going on for several years before we ever even got the sponsorship. So several years in, people are telling me, hey, you know, you do so much for Liquid Molly, you repost so much, you're at their booths. I think it's time that you, you know, give them a sponsorship proposal. So I did, and I wasn't expecting anything more than a free oil change or a little bit of free products, which I was already getting a little bit here and there, uh, getting shirts and you know merchandise and stuff like that to help push uh, in exchange for being at the booth. Um, that's normally expected because um, that just helps advertise their company. So I sent them a really heartfelt proposal. Wasn't really hugely business-like, but it was about my values and I know the value that I could provide them. Never asking for any level of sponsorship or what I wanted in return. Just that I support their racing teams. I live next to Road Atlanta. I go to Road Atlanta all the time. Anytime a Nickel Molly car is there, I'm taking pictures and videos and sending it out because I like those cars too. The M6, the M4s for Turner Motorsports. I support those cars. Just happens to be Nickel Molly at the same time. I support their products, use their products, um, believe in their products, and just explain to them the value. And they responded back and now we are a full partner with Liquid Molly. Uh, there's a video on that as well. And I never believed ever that I would be able to get a sponsorship like that from a company that big. But you know what? You can. And it's mainly because, like I said, I built that relationship. Uh, I'm passionate about the product. Um, I was getting just as much in return already. I felt like it was already a, a kind of a sponsorship deal, you know, for the boost and stuff. I got exposure. They got exposure. Worked out great. This was just an added bonus more or less. So we use the whole gambit of all the products that are available for this car from them. So another great way to make contacts and build relationships is at car meets and car shows. Um, a lot of people are there, big car shows, there's lots of vendors, vendor booths. They see the cars, they see the people around the cars, they start to realize that, hey, there's just some exposure here. Um, I was at BMW Invasion in Melbourne, Florida. Shout out to BMW Invasion. Those guys are awesome, Miguel and all them and F80 Gold, but I saw BBS's booth and BBS Jesse was there, who's like one of the higher ups at uh, BBS North America when it comes to marketing. And I just, I just went for it. I said, hey, you guys offering sponsorships. Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, we have different levels based off of uh, your following and, and uh, what value you can provide. Came over, saw the car. So we got the talking, did the deal. Uh, really great uh, deal. Um, BBS's are not cheap. They are the best of the best in my opinion. Uh, and I can't even afford, even with the sponsorship, the most expensive uh, LMRs or anything like that. I had to, to go with the middle line, but I actually like these. These go with the build. These are simple and clean. They're not crazy. I think it's just the perfect match. Um, but that relationship has been great. Um, the exposure I got, I believe the exposure that I've gotten them, some of my posts that are for them are the best performing posts that I've ever had. Seven, 8,000 likes. Another sponsor that I was able to build from car shows and car meets was G-Technic. Uh, Jordan, who works at G-Technic, is an ATL Beamers guy. Seen him at several meets, talked to him. Car was already coated with G-Technic at once we put the wrap on, just through Street Proof Customs. I never even talked to G-Technic about it, but I 
the coating was so good. I started to learn a lot about their products and the fact that their products are built for the coatings and I really wanted to make sure I maintained it properly. So I reached out to them and said, hey man, at some point I'm getting some wheels. They sent me a, a wheel care package uh, in exchange for a little bit of influence to do the wheels. And at that point I reached out and said, hey, can we do a little more? And um, we now have a, a discount code, Heidi10, that you can use. Uh, I don't make any commission or anything off that. It's just a way of tracking the value that I'm providing them. And um, it's just, it's working out great. I use all their, I use tons of their products and I, I know I've, I've brought them a, a lot of people and because their products are just so good. But like I said, it's just somebody that I met and it became something, not full sponsorship, but I mean, who isn't gonna want all of these products at a good price? So let's go into uh, bad luck and how bad luck can turn into a sponsorship. So Heidi was assaulted in a parking lot and um, whoever it was was nice enough to stay and call the cops and everything so it was covered by insurance. Before I had a, a plastic dip job, we'll see that right here. As you see in that picture, we had a kind of creamish gold pearl uh, plastic dip coat that flipped to blue. It was unmatchable. There was just no way to match it. So the company had to pay for a whole new wrap. And uh, at the same time, Street Proof Customs was doing all of the, the work on the car, repainting it and everything. That's all covered by insurance. But once we got the wrap, after the wrap, I really wanted to make sure it was ceramic coated and protected. And he helped me out with the labor on that. So the most recent sponsor to Heidi is Blackview Dash Cams. And this one was just a straight application on their website. I filled it all out. I'd already heard about them through uh, Thick Whip's videos on uh, in the installs and, and how well it works. F80 Ghost, uh, a good um, Instagram friend of mine, um, put me on to them. And so I just filled out the application. Uh, early summer, something like that this year, and uh, never really heard anything back. I mean, standard application, what you're following, show us some pictures, what car shows, meets are you going to, what value can you provide us? that kind of stuff. They reached out about four or five months later. Uh, because of the world the way it is today, I'm not gonna say the name or whatever it is because it kills YouTube reach, but um, they said, hey, it was a little uncertain, but now they're back uh, and they reached out, uh, gave me the products. I've made a couple of videos on those. Uh, the one's up on the install on the 900X. You know, I forgot one more and that's your local car club, whichever one you're a part of. I'm part of uh, Daily Driven Atlanta, Daily Driven ATL. Uh, they are definitely one of the biggest, if not the biggest, car uh, clubs in the Atlanta area for, I think, close to 5,000 uh, members on the Facebook page. Uh, just a great group of guys, Ty, uh, Ryan, Kayla. Uh, if I've missed any of you, I mean, believe me, there's so many. Um, and they've treated me well. I've helped uh, them as well, advertising as much as I can. But they also, with the size, they get discounts with other companies. And I would think that as providing value to the members. So actually they're kind of sponsoring your car. Uh, they may be just discounts, but also going to the car shows, car meets, getting in their videos and their pictures with the size, you can get a little bit of a push that provides you value. You do things for them, it provides them value. So even for contacts that you're currently creating now and even future sponsorships that may not, that may manifest themselves at some point or may not, uh, through that incident with the car and having Street Approved Customs work on it and put the G-Technic coating on there, I met the Opulent Auto Styling who put the wrap on this car. Now it's all paid by insurance, so it's really not a sponsorship. And I push him all the time as much as I can because he did such a good job. But at some point down the road, that could manifest itself into, hey, when we were gonna rewrap this car, I know who to hit up and he knows the value that I can bring him and possibly we could work out a deal. Now, I will never ask for a full sponsorship on a wrap. That just costs too much, especially for a small business. I'm not gonna do that. Larger business, possibility, but I would never reach out and ask for anything completely free from any small or local business. That's just, just not right. Uh, they have to make money, they have to pay their employees as well. So in conclusion, at any following size, you can be sponsored, you can provide a company value. Micro-influencing is huge, like I said. Build those relationships, build those contacts. They may not manifest themselves until years later. Be passionate about the products that you're gonna sponsor. The content and the creation from that just comes out easy. And to break down value even more, it's not just the content, the views, the engagement. There is no political talk. Uh, the only thing we ever did was, hey, go vote. And we keep it simple, we keep it family friendly, we keep it about the car. 
brands like that. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed me walking back and forth in and out of the shadows with the sun on my head and all that. Um, but many, many people DM me and ask me all the time, how do I get my sponsor? So I just figured, let's just do a video and just point them to the video uh, so I can show them how they can provide uh, value and get the sponsorships. So if you aren't already, please subscribe, like the video, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. So another great way to make contact. So another a great. So another great way to make contacts and build relation. Oh my God! Is to see if we could do something. A uh, nice train horn there. Um, <clears throat> and then nothing. That train horn. Jeez. So. Uh, I don't even know if you can hear that train in this mic because I don't know the capabilities of this mic yet. It's supposed to be pro close proximity. Influence, fluence post. So another way to build relationships is in, oh my God. I can hear the wind going through the trees. That wind again, the worst day. And it's like 30, uh, 35. I don't know if it's picking up in this lavalier mic or not. That's what I'm trying to test out. It's the first time I've used this mic. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Obviously, this is going to be at the end in the blooper reel. Let me know how well the quality is coming to this mic and if you can hear any background uh, noise or not.